you are urged to read the Handgun Safety Certificate Study Guide. Seek professional firearms training in your community. And visit the California Department of Justice website at www.ag.ca.gov slash firearms. Simply viewing this guide will not make you a safe gun owner. Safety comes only from carefully following all applicable rules and laws. You're responsible for knowing the rules of gun safety. You're responsible for knowing the right way to store a handgun. And you're responsible for always handling your gun safely, legally, and responsibly. You, as a handgun owner, are the one responsible for observing all laws and procedures required for the safe storage and use of your firearm. To ensure that you have a basic familiarity with the safe handling and storage of handguns, the state of California requires that you receive a handgun safety certificate before you can purchase a handgun. You must pass the California Department of Justice Handgun Safety Certificate written test in order to receive the handgun safety certificate. If you don't pass the test the first time, the law requires you to wait at least 24 hours before taking the test again. And if you don't pass the second time, you must start the process all over. So, how do you pass the test? Simple. Just read this, the Handgun Safety Certificate Study Guide. Quiz yourself or have someone quiz you until you are ready to take the test and watch this video. If you view this video and read the study guide, you will learn everything you need to know to pass the test. You can also visit the California Department of Justice website for detailed information on California's firearms laws. But don't stop there. The California Department of Justice strongly recommends you obtain handgun proficiency and safety training from a firearms professional in your community. Remember, a safe handling demonstration is also required by law when you purchase a handgun. While a proficiency and safety course is not required by law, it better prepares you for the serious responsibility of handgun ownership. First, you need to know about handgun safety. Before you ever handle or purchase a gun or get a handgun safety certificate, you need to be aware of the six basic gun safety rules. You need to treat all guns at all times as if they are loaded. Time and time again, the mistaken assumption that a gun is unloaded has resulted in tragedy. Without exception, every time a gun is handled, you need to check to see that it is unloaded. This is especially important when cleaning your gun. If you are unable to check a gun to see if it is unloaded, leave it alone and get help from someone more knowledgeable about guns. Always keep the gun pointed in the safest possible direction, away from yourself, someone else, or anything you can damage. You should always know where it's pointed. Only point a gun at something you intend to shoot. Keep your finger off the trigger, even if the safety is on, until you are ready to shoot. Even though it may seem comfortable and even natural to rest your finger on the trigger, it is not safe to do so. Any startling noise or movement can cause an accidental trigger pull and possibly a tragedy. Know your target, its surroundings and beyond. The areas in front of and behind your target must be safe for shooting. A bullet that misses or passes through a target could hit a person or object. Most ammunition can easily penetrate residential doors and walls. Be aware of all the people around you before shooting. Make sure you can identify your target and you know what's behind your target. Never fire at an unusual shape, color, sound, or movement. When in doubt, don't shoot. Know how to safely handle and operate your gun. You must be familiar with how to properly load, unload, and if your gun malfunctions, how to clear it. While many calibers or sizes of ammunition look alike, using the wrong ammunition can result in injury to yourself or a bystander. Damage to the firearm, a jam, or a misfire can also result if improper ammunition is used. Remember, handgun models differ. You should never assume that the operation of one handgun is the same as another. Storing your gun safely and securely is the law. Store handguns unloaded. Always use a California-approved trigger lock or cable lock. For maximum safety, store your handgun or other firearms in a California-approved lockbox or gun safe. 
and always store guns and ammunition separately. Remember, safe storage of any firearm is your responsibility and the law. There are common sense safety points you should know in addition to the six basic gun safety rules. Never handle a gun when you are experiencing an emotional state such as anger or depression. Your judgment may be impaired to the point that a tragedy could result. Never shoot a gun in celebration at any time, especially holidays like 4th of July or New Year's Eve. This is extremely unsafe as well as illegal. A bullet fired into the air can return to the ground with enough speed to injure or kill someone. Never shoot at water, pavement or rocks. The bullet can ricochet and hit someone or something other than your target. Whenever you hand your gun to another person, make sure it is unloaded and the cylinder or action is open. And if someone hands you a gun, use the same common sense approach. The gun should be unloaded with the cylinder or action open. Guns and alcohol, or guns and drugs, are a very dangerous and deadly mix. Alcohol and certain drugs can impair normal mental and physical functioning and should never be used when handling a gun. This includes prescription as well as over-the-counter medications that may cause drowsiness. Even common medications for colds or allergies can impair judgment. If you are in doubt, don't handle the firearm. The loud noise from a gunshot can damage your hearing. To be safe, always wear ear protection when shooting a gun or when you are near someone else who is shooting a gun. The debris and hot gas that is often emitted when a gun is fired can cause eye injury. You should always wear eye protection when shooting a gun. The most common handguns sold are semi-automatic pistols and revolvers. You need to know the basic operation of these firearms. A revolver has a rotating cylinder, usually with five or six chambers. The chambers hold the ammunition. Releasing the cylinder latch allows the cylinder to swing out for loading, unloading, and inspection. The cylinder is unloaded by depressing the ejector rod. This is the trigger, which fires the weapon, the trigger guard, and the grip or handle. A revolver is never unloaded or made safe by simply spinning the cylinder to an empty chamber. Revolvers are either single or double action. The only function of the trigger of the single action revolver is to release the hammer to fire the weapon. The hammer must be manually cocked in order to fire the single action revolver. The trigger of the double action revolver both cocks the hammer as well as releases it for firing. As the trigger is pulled, the action of the trigger lines up the chamber with the barrel and firing pin. The continued pull of the trigger releases the hammer firing the revolver. This is a semi-automatic pistol. The semi-automatic has a single chamber. Each time the trigger is pulled, a cartridge is fired, the empty case is automatically extracted and ejected, the hammer is cocked, and a new cartridge is loaded into the chamber. The basic parts are the slide, the slide lock, the hammer, the trigger and trigger guard, the magazine and the magazine release, the grip, and the safety. You load the ammunition into the magazine as described in the owner's manual. The magazine is then inserted firmly into the pistol at the bottom of the grip, like this. Remember, even with the magazine removed, a semi-automatic may still have one round in the chamber. You won't know until you inspect the chamber yourself. You inspect it by first removing the magazine, keeping your finger off the trigger, and then pulling the slide to the rear and, if possible, locking the slide back. The action is now open and you can visually check the chamber to ensure it is empty. Semi-automatic handgun owners need to be particularly careful. If you only remove the magazine and don't clear the chamber, your weapon may still be loaded and that could cause a tragedy. Any questions you have regarding the operation of your handgun should be directed to a gun dealer or the manufacturer of the gun. There is no such thing as being too careful with children and guns. Child safety precautions apply even if you don't have children. 
because you could have child visitors at any time. Never leave a firearm lying around the house. If you keep a loaded handgun on the premises where you are in custody or control of any child under the age of 18 and that child uses it, you are subject to criminal prosecution unless you store the weapon in a locked storage container or the gun has a California approved locking device. Obviously, you should never leave a gun unsafely stored in the house. Nevertheless, children playing with guns remains a major cause of accidental shootings. Do not assume handguns are safe around toddlers because you think they lack the strength to pull the trigger. A child's thumb has twice the strength of the other fingers, and when the toddler manages to pull the trigger with the thumbs, the weapon is usually facing the child. Children are naturally curious about something new to them or things they think are forbidden. If your child asks you questions about guns or begins to act out gun play, that is a good time to talk about guns honestly and openly. By doing so, you will help remove the mystery and reduce their natural curiosity. It is important to convey to a child the difference between real and make-believe, that critical difference between a real gun and a toy gun. These can look very alike to a child, and the child needs to understand that the real gun can hurt or kill someone. Children around you will learn by observing your actions. It cannot be emphasized enough that by practicing safe conduct, you will also be teaching safe conduct. Unfortunately, it is entirely possible for a child to discover a gun with no adults around at home, at a friend's house, or at a public place like a park. It is important for children to know the rules for this situation before it happens. Stop. Don't touch. Leave the area. And tell an adult. Children who find a gun should stop whatever they are doing. They should never touch a found gun. They should immediately leave the area. No child should attempt to take a gun away from another child or attempt to stop another child from using a gun. They should just leave. And, as soon as possible, they should tell an adult about the gun and whether other kids are playing with or shooting the gun. You've just seen the basic rules for handgun safety, operation, and storage. Check what you've learned by answering these sample test questions. Drinking alcohol while handling guns is safe if your blood alcohol level remains below the legal limit, true or false? The answer is false. Alcohol and firearms never mix, ever. The safest place to point a handgun is to the north, away from yourself, someone else, or anything you can damage, up or down. The answer is away from yourself, someone else, or anything you can damage. It is important for you to always practice gun safety rules at all times so that children will be positively influenced by your role modeling. True or false? The answer is true. Children will learn by watching. Be a good example of proper gun safety. And finally, if you improperly store a handgun and a child injures someone or improperly uses it some other way, you could face criminal charges, true or false. The answer is true. After studying the Handgun Safety Certificate Study Guide and viewing this video, you should be able to pass the Handgun Safety Certificate written test and get your Handgun Safety Certificate. Please keep in mind that while a handgun safety certificate is required by law to obtain a handgun, it is really only the first step in responsible gun ownership. It is your obligation to know and follow all laws and safety procedures for gun safety. Remember, safe handgun ownership requires you to carefully practice all of the rules and laws of gun safety. You must help prevent gun tragedies from occurring. Gun safety begins with you. It is your responsibility.